Okay, here's the deal. We're on episode five of Bloom Into You, and I gotta be honest, it's slowly progressing the Yuri fandom to the core. Okay, I get it. Some of y'all, some of y'all who's into Yuri, y'all wanna rush, you wanna speed things up. You guys want to see the kissing and all that stuff. Okay, we get that. But you guys gotta understand, romance animes, no matter what type it is, no matter if it's Yaoi, no matter if it's Yuri, you guys gotta understand, it's slowly the main character or the secondary main character is slowly progressing the love. And that happens a lot in romance shows. No matter. Doesn't matter. Now, Yu's and Nanami's relationship has just... It's getting there. You know what I mean? It's really getting there. But you gotta understand, it's slowly progressing it because... It's, it's because of you. She... She doesn't know love at first sight. You gotta understand that. She doesn't love... She don't know what love is. Even if someone says I love you, it doesn't mean any doesn't mean anything to her. And okay, does the episodes feel short? It does. But it's trying with all but it has so much dialogue that you're trying to see where the plot thickens in this in this whole Yuri anime. Okay. Now, Yu's and Nanami relationship, like I said, it's slowly progressing it. But Nanami is one step ahead. Whoa, is one step ahead. To, to like, un to like being open to you, and she tries so many ways. But you is the girl that doesn't know, like doesn't realize that there's Yuri involved. I mean, th everything that Nanami did, from sharing a bottle, from the yeah, from the indirect kiss, from the bottle, from kissing not once but twice, and holding hands, that's just a sign of Nanami just being open, and you doesn't realize that. Okay. You guys would understand that five episodes still to this day, she still hasn't realized it. But maybe, just maybe, somewhere down the line, she could be open. Okay. Now, his friend, now, her friend Maki, okay, I get it. He's the type of guy that knows what love is, and he sees it. He literally sees it. I mean, he even asks you to, like, oh, here's an idea. I want you to... Um, uh, you could study with the student council president. I mean, she's right there. She's right behind you. Okay. See, that works. You see, he's not... I mean, he, he knows that they kiss, and he knows that, okay, you have a relationship with her. You should, you should try it. I'm like, oh, see, that's the type of friend you need to have. Nanami, okay. <laughs> Nanami has so many face expressions in this episode. Being that she's a student council president, she has so many... So many. She tried so many ideas to get to be close to you. I mean, when they were studying in the library, they started cross for each other. So she decided to sit next to her. She tried to, to pat her on the head, you know, moving, rubbing her hair. Still, you just don't get it. I feel like you's the only one who doesn't see the yuriness that's happening. Even her sister's, you sister's boyfriend knows that there's something going on. The, it's like, I don't know why, but everybody in this, everybody that sees this relationship going along, you does not see that. She doesn't see that coming. I'm like, oh my God, you just be open for once in your life. Just do it. There was, I mean, you, I mean, okay, think about it. They were studying in the library for day for days and days. And then when it got crowded, she like, oh, I'll tell you what, let's study, let's study at her house. Let's study at you's house. And again, her sister's boyfriend knows that there's something going on. I mean, they even sat down on the bed. I mean, they even sat down on the table together, just studying. And while you stepped out, Nanami was lying on the bed, just like, just feeling like the smell of you, you know, that stuff. But still, you doesn't see that. She even put out, I mean, she even, uh, she had made these face expressions with a pen. It was so funny to see you, I mean, Nanami's expression with the pens. Now, anyway, she walked, now, anyway, you just walked, um, went straight ahead, got close, and to and Nanami pretending to be like she was nervous, but she felt something in her chest, like a heartbeat, but what did you do? She got, she stared at her, but she just grabbed her, grabbed her, um, she grabbed her wrist and just felt her, her heartbeat, and I'm like, oh, come on. You got close to her, you felt her wrist, and that's all you did? Just to feel a heartbeat? You could've just like, for a Yuri moment like that, you could've just like, I don't know, put your head on her chest, or, or 
grab her fingers close together or just kiss her for God's sake. You had every opportunity you and you just don't freaking get it that there's jury involved. Make it work. I mean, if Citrus could do it, why can't you? Why can't you do it? Why? Now, I can understand everybody's relationship is passing forward towards it. And what better way to have your backup than use Big Sister? Because when Nanami left, uh, use Big Sister gave gave her the phone num gave her a number just for the recipe of the cheesecake. Because since she, I kind of like Nanami for this, because she's kind of like trying to understand use likes and dislikes. So she's like, okay, uh, I need the recipe for the cheesecake. And the only reason is because she likes cheesecake. I'll make some for her. You see that? You see how that works? That's kind of that's. That's a backup. <laughs> that is your backup. You, <laughs> that is the greatest backup you have. Her big sister, give me the recipe to make cheesecake. I mean, that's one backup person on your phone. And what's better is the big sister knows that there's something going on. That she even gave a photo of Nanami, of a photo with you sleeping. And her face expression was so happy. She's like, yay! She's, oh, she was so fucking excited. Oh, yo, that was great. Now, okay, I get it. I get it. This episode was really short. For 23 minutes, it was short because you wanted to see more Yuri moments in this right here. But you can't. But you got to understand. Romance shows, like like I said, romance animes like this take things slow. Usually it happens around 3, 4, 5. But you got to understand, when it comes to situations like this, it's a slow pace in the relationship. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with slow pace relationships because you got to find a plot. You gotta find the backsides of these romance shows, romance anime shows. Now, always that that's always happens in shows these days. Trust me, I know. Now, before I end this, I gotta say it, it is dubbed. It's Blooming Tea is gonna be in dubbed. I'm looking forward to it. I got I can't wait to see the first episode in the dub. And let's just see how that turns out. Because you know, sometimes dub shows ruin the subs. It, but it all depends on the voice actors. So let's just see how that. Let's just. Let's just give it a chance and see. Let's just see. Like Zombie Land Saga, the dub was I'll give it I'll give it decently, okay? It was decent. Now let's just see how this Yuri anime goes in perspective. So that's it. So well will you now the big question is, will you finally, finally realize that there's something going on? Or will Nanami continue to put the love, try so many ways to make you fall in love it's, or something to get the first move? I mean, to make another move? Let's see. Let's see. Now, I've read the manga to this, so I'm not going to spoil anything. Rest assured you, it will happen. Once you beat open, it will be, it, it, it will happen. Trust me. And we're halfway through the episode. Next week is episode, episode six. We're halfway through the shows. So let's see how that, let's see how their relationship will flow.